Welcome to the top of Ben Hogan's backswing, reverse angle. I've been watching and looking at this picture for a long time too, and I want to maybe bring you up to speed. See, the, the more I look at that, you tell me, is his weight on his right side or his left side? If it looks to you like it's on his right side, you're looking at a totally different picture than I'm looking at. To me, it looks like Mr. Hogan has the mass majority of his weight on his left side. Let me tell you where I think we've gone wrong. You know, if I had the ability to have um, a really great weight pressure sensor on Mr. Hogan's feet, I'm sure the weight pressure sensor would say that Mr. Hogan has most of his weight on his back foot. If you ask Mr. Hogan, he'd probably say he's got it on his front foot. You see, as, as, as the club hands and arms go backwards, they obviously take some of the weight that the arm weighs and some of the weight that the shaft weighs and they put it behind the center which would tell the machine that there's more weight back here but it, you're not you shouldn't be trying to shift your weight somewhere in time I think we all got Shanghai in that it was given to us that you have to shift your weight and we started moving our weight onto our back foot where the correct pivot will help with my weight shift monitor here I, ma I made this because I wanted to know if I was doing what I was supposed to be doing right or wrong. I, I didn't want to waste my time. I wanted to know. So when I practiced, I had people practicing. I mean, it makes a whole lot more sense to me. As opposed to this sort of thing. So when I'm looking at this picture here, I think Mr. Hogan's doing what I'm trying to do here. Keep the center of his weight on top of the golf ball so as the arms come down the wrist can't break so he can go through the golf ball without any wrist break down through the ball. Now remember, and it's very important that, that we all understand this, Mr. Hogan in his younger days was nowhere near as good as when he started getting older. Uh, he um, constantly fought hooking the golf ball. The more we try to stay behind it, the more possible it is we're going to hit a hook. Now I can see somebody out there saying, hey that's a good thing because I hit a slice. No, the good thing is to hit it straight. Standing back here is not going to fix, well, it may fix your slice but it's going to give you a hook. The idea is to stand on top of the golf ball, downwards and forwards, downwards and forwards on top of the golf ball, downwards and forwards. And I think that's exactly what you're seeing Mr. Hogan do. At the top of his backswing, he put himself in a terrific position that he could make a, an offensive forwards motion through the golf ball, knowing that if he keeps his weight pressure past the golf ball, that his wrist cannot break down and he will not hit the hook the ball will go straight or maybe a little fade, which I mean, I, which Mr. Hogan really liked. So I hope you uh, enjoy that. I hope you keep joining in to the whole series and all the segments because the more you do, the more you'll start to see they all come together. They all do seem to make sense. And uh, it's a great way to study Mr. Hogan's book, The Five Fundamentals.